And so the triangle actually, looking over on page three here, the triangle actually could be drawn like this. The 3.1 meter length that Sam is holding doesn't have to be coming out in this direction. It actually could be going in this direction, in which case John and Sam are actually uh, quite a bit closer than 5.4 meters. Now, the first part of the calculation will be the same. I still need to find angle S before I can find angle B and then side B. So the first part's the same. Sine J over J equals sine S over S. And so filling in the 35 degrees for J, side J is 3.1, and side S is 4. And we cross multiply. This is exactly the same as what's on the previous page. And so we get S to be 48 degrees. So that is all the same. Nothing's changed there. Okay. Now, what changes, though, is this. There are two angles between 0 and 180 degrees whose sine is 0 0.7401. Your calculator is only programmed in order to give you the first one of those two. But remember, there's also an angle in the second quadrant, 48 degrees is in the first quadrant, whose sine is 0 0.7401. And so we find the other angle by subtracting the 48 from 180. And so there's another angle, 132 degrees. The sine of this is also 0 0.7401. So there's two angles, 48 degrees, and that belongs to the diagram on the previous page. And in this diagram, angle S is obtuse. It's over 90, and so it would be 132 degrees. And so what changes is the rest of the problem now. In order to find angle B up here, we subtract 132 and 35 from 180. And angle B is quite small. It works out to be 13 degrees. So angle B is 13 degrees. And so now we write out the sine law to find side B. So what's different here is that this angle isn't the 97 from the previous page. It's 13 degrees. And so the sine of 35 over 3.1 equals sine 13 over its opposite side, the B side. And so we cross multiply. 3.1 times the sine of 13 degrees divided by the sine of 35 degrees is what, will, what B will equal. And so we evaluate this expression and we get B to be about 1.2 meters. So if they're standing on the same side of the balloon, then Sam is only 1.2 meters from John. Now, this case where the triangle can be drawn two different ways is called the side-side-side ambiguity. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit on the last page of the note here. And this is just a screen capture from the textbook. In the ambiguous case, you're given an angle and a side, the side opposite it, and another side. Now, there's four different cases to consider here if angle A is acute. Now, if you take a look, so this is the information you're given. Here's the angle A, side B, and the side opposite the, this angle. Now, if side A is too short, then you actually can't even draw a triangle. No triangle exists. Now, well, too short, what does too short mean? In order to find the length of uh, that side, take a look at this H here. H represents the perpendicular distance straight down here. And... Now, remember, H does not represent the hypotenuse here. It's the height of the triangle. If I wanted to calculate that distance, I would use the sine ratio because this is the opposite side, and the B over here is the hypotenuse. And so I would write the sine of angle A is equal to the opposite H, over the hypotenuse B. And if we cross multiply for H there, H works out to be B sine A. So that's the height of the triangle. That's this vertical distance right here. It's B sine A. That's how we can find that height. Now, if A is smaller than that height, then no triangle exists. In the case over here on the right, if A is the same as H, then there's only one triangle you can draw, and it's a right triangle. Now, if A is larger than B, 
in this diagram, notice that A is larger than B, then the only way to draw the triangle is if A comes out in this direction. It can't come back in this direction. So one triangle exists if A is bigger than the value of B. Now, the ambiguity is in this case here. If the A here is between the height and side B, and that was the case in the example in the previous two pages, then you could draw A out in this direction, or you could draw A in this direction. See, it's between the value of H, it's bigger than H, but less than B. So that's the ambiguity case. That's, that's where there's two possible triangles that you can draw. Now, there aren't two possible triangles you can draw if angle A is obtuse, if it's over 90 degrees. But there's still two cases to consider. So still, if you have an angle, the side opposite, and another side, if angle A is obtuse, if this side A here, the side opposite this angle, if it's smaller than the, the other side, the side B, then you can't draw the triangle. A isn't long enough to come down here and, and complete a triangle. Okay, so if... Uh, if A is smaller than B, no triangle exists. The only way there could be a triangle is if the quantity A is larger than B. So if A is greater than B, then there's only one triangle you can draw, and it looks something like this. And that's the end of the sine law note.